women have this thing that they want to be able to have this Disney-like experience. So they create this situation in their mind or this Prince Charming, if you will, in yeah. their mind. And it's up to you to not mess that up. Women, because we are emotionally drawn to certain type of connections and we like to establish emotional connections, we create fantasies. Also, because we have been conditioned to live in a fantasy life. Disney teaches us how to go after this Prince Charming person and things like that. Why don't women at some point understand that that was just fantasy? Just clinging on to that hope that someone will... It's, it's crazy because it's like we want someone to come and rescue us, but we don't need you to come and rescue us. Space nowadays is really Space weird. Also, because women, because they are emotionally more in tune with certain things, they're a lot more codependent than men are, right? I said, hold up, wait a minute. Help me understand that. I can see how that may be true, but I know that once I get into a relationship, my goal is to like be your all in all. I want you just as much codependent on me as I am of you. We can still be like like independent, but I want you codependent on me. So I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna try to fill all of those roles so that I can have you missing me and wanting me. That's the goal. I want you to miss me. I want you to need me. I'm very codependent and I'm gonna make you codependent. And I think that 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 uh codependence upon each other that you're referring to is when you can be independent and codependent at the same mm -hmm. time, we call that interdependence. Hacking with them two white boys from Menlo, mm -hmm. AKA Google, and they'll, and they'll tell you what interdependence is. Actually, I might put it up right there. The way she's framing it though, is almost like it's a negative thing for you to yeah. be there. And what I'm saying is it's the opposite of that. You should yeah. be codependent on your, yeah. on your significant other. Now, if you're not healed enough or healthy enough to not lose yourself in another person, then that's something else. Don't blame the person. That's a you thing because you didn't create boundaries for yourself. Message. All right. So in codependency, we have a need to be needed. We also feel like that our valuation of self is based off of people's acceptance, based off of what we can do for them, based off of how we can serve them, based off of how we can nurture them. So a lot of times that's the reason why a lot of women go for potential. I believe that another part of that is a lot of women of color get so much drag about not giving men the benefit of the, of the doubt that we automatically give into that potential. Okay, for example, Everybody was saying, oh, well, you know, you guys, you guys just always want to go for somebody that's already established and you never want to look into, you know, the diamond in the rough. And it's just like, you know, okay, I gave this mofo a benefit of the doubt. And it's really up to that person to show us something different. But we're trying.